the Monet Phillips show. You got it, you got it, girl. You, you got it. You got it, you got it, girl. You got it, you got it, you got it, girl. You, you got it. You the best. 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 Happy Halloween, everybody. We are celebrating here at the Monet Phillips Show. It's your boy DJ Styles. You know what's going on. It's going down. Monet, take it away. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome to the Monet Phillips Show. And I am your host, Monet Phillips. Y'all know what it is, it's Halloween weekend, but we ain't gonna be talking about no Halloween because we got a special guest in the house tonight. So look, of course, I'm gonna take a seat and we're gonna call my first guest in the house. Well, good evening, good evening. I hope y'all are having a fantastic Friday. So I got a special guest in the house. Uh, Mr. Martin, come on down to the Monday Film Show. Yeah, pick up that mic right there and have a seat. All right. All right. Thank you for coming on the Monet Phillips Show. We welcome you. <laughs> so, Mr. Martin, tell them a, bit, a little bit about you because I know everybody know you know you be rocking the mic. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well. I'm glad you're using my name so they'll know my name. Yeah. Because every time somebody see me, they say, preach me. Hey, preach me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a blessing. First to be on the show. You know, it's an honor to be on here. But yes, preacher man, I've been doing this music for like at least 12 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a it's a journey that's that's been great for me because I'm doing it for God. Yes. You know, I've been doing it. I, I go everywhere. I go from churches to Breast cancer awareness mm -hmm. marches. That I even do clubs and open mics. So it's it's like I I take the gospel wherever they yes, have right. their mic. Yeah, most definitely. So it. It's 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 a blessing. Yes, yes. So you know. So how long you been uh, doing this, um, Mr. Mark? Okay. Well, like I said, it's twelve years solo. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for at least fifteen. Years okay. Because I, I started in a group, so you know it's it's. It was good in the group, and then, you know, if you've seen any type of stories about groups, you're in a group, the next thing you know, the group breaks up for various reasons, yeah. but we still all good. Yeah. But um, I've been doing the solo for like 12 years. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. okay. I know that the energy, and you know, being solo anyway, you know, it gives you a different energy when you're by yourself solo. You can bring all the pain and all the <laughs> energy that you want to give versus when you're with a group, you yes. know what I'm saying? Because yes. sometimes you may want to pop out and be like Tito or somebody <laughs> and say, sit down now, you're trying to take over. Hey. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But when you got your own and you solo, you pretty much give all the energy that you want to uh, bring yes. into your music. So yes, most that's the most. Definitely. That's why you see so many people do go solo. I know. Some of them just want the spotlight. Yeah, that too. I mean, you might be Eddie Kane. I, you know? I, know, I, know, I know. You know what I'm <laughs> No, but one thing I can tell you about the group that's different is the group, one of the uh, other members lean on the other one. Mm -hmm. So when you by yourself, it's nobody to lean on. Yeah. So you're going to have to be super on point. So yeah. Yeah, it, was a, it was a move for me because I was so used to being in the group and supporting each other on the verses. Then it was like... You know, people have techniques. Mm -hmm. Move the mic. Yeah. When they feel like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. you know, I've, I've learned everything in this. But like you said, once you're on there, you can just kind of create while you're on stage. Yeah. You know, when you're doing solo. So mm -hmm. it, it is a blessing yeah. to be yeah. in this position right yeah. now. Yeah, I've been uh, listening to your music and everything and seeing how the performance are. They, oh, I man. mean, are powerful. Well, you know, I only practice the words. Yeah. Air performance. Yeah, is, is, it's, it's energy. It's it energy. That's why I be tell I tell the artists that all the time. It's the energy got to be yes, in you yes, to yes. bring the people uh, able to you know enjoy the music. If you really yes. want them to be in tune into your music, you got to bring that energy. You can't yes. be all. I can't come on the Monet Phillips show and be like, hey, uh, oh, no, they, they is the Monet Phillips? <laughs> You know, I, I, I actually had to learn that because most of the shows that I do is late. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would have to drink a Red Bull because, you know, as a 
aspiring yeah, artists. Yeah, we go to bed all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get you some red. Yeah, Look, yeah. I tell you, like they always say, if you want to go party, and the party start at 3 in the morning, you might well go, go to sleep at yeah, 8, yeah, yeah, get yeah. up at about yeah. 1, oh, get God, yourself yeah. together, then you be up all night. That's how you have to do that. Y'all see the yeah. people, the young folks don't know nothing about that. If you want to stay up, and we go out of town, you go to Vegas somewhere, you know we got to go to sleep. Look, I got to go to bed by 8. Yeah, yeah. If you want me up at 3 in the morning to get dressed. Because I actually learned the first couple of shows I did, I was tired. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the, the person that was running the show, they was like, hey, you, you didn't have any energy, energy tonight. Yeah. And I was like, That's you got it to get, get to them yep. every time. Yep. So, you know, I just put it in myself to say, you know, and then I pray and I ask God, you know, give me that strength to push out as hard as I can. So it's, it's like, it's an ever ending drive yes, to push yes, this music yes, to yes. the fullest, most definitely. Now, there, you know, I always tell the artists all the time, and then, you know, as far as your music, uh, um, how, and you know, it always go by, by the producers, and then, you know, who can really give you what you're looking for, because yeah. I always tell the artists all the time, don't spend your money on just any type of music. Yeah, spend your money on somebody more that's going to give you the power that, that goes with your your more voice more and more your, more. your energy, your techniques, you yeah. know, so I always tell people that, because a lot of people just, just just spend their money and just to say I was in the studio all night, know, right? and then you don't even hear from the music that they played in the studio. Cause what yeah. what happened? I know, but <laughs> it, it, it has to be a connection. So it's it's ironic that you say that because I've been doing the music so long that I'm half of everything I do. Mm -hmm. So I am the producer. Yeah. I, I am the beat maker. Mm -hmm. But I do reach out. So I, I I I have a couple of people, you know, like Red on the beat. I got a track from him. Mm -hmm. He's he's uh in the Grammy Association, uh JP on the track. You know, it's and he has a lot of T V placements. It's like certain people by me doing this music, I'm able to touch people live. Yeah. And uh, I don't get enough for free. Though. That's right. But, but, uh, <laughs> but you got to get help you. Yeah. That's why I said give you an opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. You know, you might cut my deals, be like, okay, this your first oh, time. Yes, well, you well, know, well. you know, we're going to try it out, yeah, see what you yeah, like about yeah. it, see what you can do with it. Oh, um, oh. I always tell them all the time, look, I had came to a studio my first time, and um, I had a few people uh, that came in here, and then I was, I've been singing since I've been in high school. Oh, so yeah. I've been singing uh, in high school. Now, before high school I was singing in the church choir so oh, my mama okay. my mama was a singer my granddad was a gospel singer my oh, whole man, family man. gospel singer so, so it, I have been singing I have not used my voice like I think the last time I really just used my voice was when my mom passed but I had started back you know going to um, get vocal lessons and stuff okay. to strengthen my voice I still got it y'all <laughs> I still get it, y'all. But uh, I just don't want to lose that talent. You know, when God bless you with something, yes, you try not to yes. lose it. That is not my yes. profession where I choose to be a singer, but I sing if I want to, oh, if yeah, I yeah. have to, or whatever. But I love singing. I know. I love, yes, I yes. love, especially bringing, the, you know, that gospel oh, into yes, you. Yes. You know, that's, that's the heart of, you know, a lot of the singers that's, that's, that's well known. That's where they kind of yeah. get the backbone yeah. start from. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially when you're really touching people. Yes, you know? yes, yes. 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 So, you know, uh, I, I was just telling Mr. Martin, we was back there talking, and I basically was telling him, he was like, I seen you, I never known that you was a model, but all the way around, you got you doing everything, and yeah, I always so let true. him know that. You know, when Tyler Perry picked these people up, they, he, all these actors are models mm -hmm. and everything before they became actors, you know what I'm saying? And even though the money into the acting, yes. but you know what I'm saying, they was a model, they were models at first, so, so you I'm know. I'm get my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm all, I'm all and I talk about that too. I talk about that to them artists. Because I always talk about it. I said they be thinking I don't know nothing, but I like as a model, I have to have headshots and yeah, yeah. uh you know, as an actor you got to have headshots and body shots. So they wants to see your face. Uh truly, you know, like I be telling the artists, look. Don't send no bathroom shot pictures. Oh, come on now. Come on. Uh, send no poo poo car and hit six on six nine or, or, or Chevy and Paula or whatever. <laughs> you know, or these affinities or whatever. Well, you yeah. know, get you a real you know, professional yes. picture done by the photographer. It don't cost y'all that much, honey. Yeah, yeah, and if you do that, that will help you grow. That means you're about your business. They will take you more seriously yes. if you got professional yes. pictures. Because when you do events, you have that picture to display yes. on yes. the event. 
they ain't gotta crop you out on poo poo car or sitting I in the bathroom you like you, you, you know. <laughs> Like, put this up. This is a good picture I got of me. Like, dog, come on now. If you're going to be an artist, bring it. Yes. Bring it. Spend best in yourself just like you invest in yes. going to these producers and get this music. Invest in those pictures. That's your next goal plan. Yes. Plan that yes. for sure. Cause I cannot go nowhere. Y'all see these pictures on the backdrop. Y'all know it. I can't go nowhere with no picture of me sitting in no bathroom taking uh, no picture. I got to be professional yes. so they can be able to give you the look that you're looking for. And then they can go from there. So. You know, I always tell you when you come on the show, it's the way you want to dress when you come on the show. Now, okay. you know if you go to Whitney Williams show, uh, you go to Oprah Winfrey show, you know how you want to dress when you style and profile yes, when you yes, perform. Yes, now, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm the host. I'm the host. <laughs> but whatever you decide to come, you know, just, yeah, you know, yeah. bring you. Don't never get hesitant. Like, should I be dressed up in a suit and tie? Now, do you wear right. suit and tie? I, I, I didn't oh. come as a lawyer. I didn't come as a lawyer. No. So I always, you know, I always give y'all pointers on, on, on the success, being successful as a artist. And, you know, and I always know the pros and cons of it because yes. those are, your steps, your stepping stones Most right there. there. You Most know what I'm saying? And get yourself out there and do these events. Yes. Uh, if you never, I, you know, by you coming on the Monet Filler Show, you get an opportunity to perform live on TV. So they mm -hmm. give you that energy yes. that you need so you can be motivated if you ever have to go on another TV show. So I always want to be known as the first. So you ever can get where, get wherever you go, Oprah Winfrey yes. Show, whatever, yes. you can say, man, I was the first TV show I ever did was the Monet, uh, Monet Phillips show on SVP Network, yeah, yeah. and they're going to always say, oh, yeah, that was my start. I'm going yeah, to put that on my EBK. <laughs> yes, I'm like, I'm a, that was my start. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I always want to be the star for y'all because y'all need this. This platform is what y'all need. God gave me this vision. I'm using this vision. It's here. It's what I had planned it, what I wanted from y'all to, you know, get a chance to get an opportunity to do this. Because, you know, you can easily go do an interview on a podcast. Most you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk on the live, Facebook. Yeah. We dive every yeah. all the time, you know. Yeah. But be on TV is a different, you know, atmosphere. You Most know what definitely. I'm saying? And Most then, look, Thanksgiving coming around. Guess what? Y'all can get a chance to look at this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm on TV, so y'all yes. can say, Mom, y'all got to check my interview out. It's on TV. Yes. It's on Smart TV, Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV. You can download that app, SVT, 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 SVP. I'm not saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. SVP <laughs> TV Network. And, yes. you know, download that app. Okay. And then, you know, that way you can always get a chance to see all the interviews, even if you haven't been on there or your friends okay. been on there or everybody, you can say, I think we down, we up to like 15, 16 episodes oh, man. already. Good. So, and not including the bits that we got to unload that I do outside the studio. So we want to get a chance to get all of that on there so y'all can see those. Because okay. uh, we want y'all to see that Monet is out here working. Me and Miss Debbie, SVP, is out here working. Yes. We doing different events and medias and everywhere. So we not sitting still, y'all. We just not going to stay at the studio. We're going, you, you know, we're going... Uh, other direction so you know y'all just stay tuned because man it gets bigger and better and you know it's just gonna get grand after yeah, a while yeah, so 22 yeah, we yeah. pushing for different visions okay different okay. visions of, of the show and um i just want y'all to you know take hold of it grabs on it because if you don't you miss your opportunity you don't want to miss your opportunity no, <laughs> don't want to miss opportunity that's you right need sometime to that's get right Most so if you want to give the uh people a little pointers about uh being you know, by you being an artist, you know, you pretty much, you know, seen what all that came through, yeah. uh, <laughs> through the Most door. Definitely. So maybe you might want to, you know, enlighten them or what you expect uh, well, from them. Yes, well, I know that uh, doing shows, I take pointers, mm -hmm. especially from DJs and the hosts, mm -hmm. because they actually know what their audience that comes to to their event or club, whatever it is, they know what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So. Please take pointers from them. Yeah. Because nobody's so big that you cannot take information from somebody, especially somebody that's over the event. Mm -hmm. So if if you if you don't do that, you limit your spaces of doing other events. Cause I found out if you burn one bridge, sometimes they know each other. Yeah, that's and, true. And, and if you hard to deal with, I've actually seen where a person couldn't do a show and they was connected to another show because 
I talked to the actual plan and they was like, this person is too hard to deal with. Ah. I wanted to speak up for it. They was yeah. like, I've already dealt with them. Somebody, so you, you yeah, have to be in a relationship. Oh, yeah. You got to be in a relationship <laughs> because if they don't want you in there, you 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 limiting your... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and especially, I know uh, we were just talking and you have to have your own persona. Yeah. Meaning that being like somebody else is going to be the first conversation somebody oh, yeah. have mm -hmm. when they hear you. Oh, yeah. they sound like somebody. Yeah. So you have to be yourself. Yes. We, we all inherit something from That's somebody. Right. That's but right. But you still got to be you yourself. Be yourself. Yes, yeah. most definitely. So yeah. if you do those two things and you move in it, because when you see Preacher Man, when people see me, they already know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to give them someone they were like, well, he did this now. I don't know where he's going. Mm -hmm. You got to stay true to what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Even if, even if it takes you a longer road, you got to stay true to it. Because some people you see now that you might think, well, they look weird. They kept it they whole time and mm -hmm. that's how they end up making the way yeah, so yeah. you know most definitely stay true to what you're doing well you know uh mr mar you know i got to have him perform tonight so y'all can oh, see yeah. what he uh this energy that we was oh, talking about <laughs> And he's going to bring it tonight. So, look, y'all, we're going to take a small commercial break, and we'll be right back with Mr. Martin. They call him the preacher man yes. after this commercial break. We'll be right back, y'all. All in it. I'm all in it. You be on my back like a guard again. Call her again. I'm in love with your friend. We be doing that. You had to everything. It's everything that you're ready to ride. Up in my Jeep and put your pride to the side. Go against the gang, you must be ready to hide. Swinging on the corner, bang my tail till it pops. I thought I was a goner, place to your honor. Burn marijuana, the diamond is on her. Hotter than the sun, I made her ass a lot of. Bala baby Prada, she popped it for the dollar. Don't stick around, you should save yourself. But you can't hear my phone if you need some help. We back live, full effect. You tuned in right now to the Monet Phillips show. You know what it is. It's your boy DJ STYLZ. We got my guy Preacher Man for the blaze and stage. You know what's going on. Let's go. Yes. Amen. It is so, it is so. Woo. Been through the heartache and pain. Soaking red from the rain. Never gave up, made a change. Blood bought, overcame. Vowed to never be the same. Always praise his name. Never switch up for the fame. Preacher on the chain. Struggles bring motivation. Patience come from tribulations. But the tribulations test me. Won't let it get the best of me. I'm gonna be hard as can be. I'm gonna be better than me. It is so plain to see. Man, ain't no stopping me. I'm gonna walk that land. Motivate my kind. My iron shop is iron. God light always shine. Big God, big faith. Demonstrate God blessings. Overtake out the gate. Gotta get what's mine. No slice the whole cake. Been through the heartache and pain. Soaking wet from the rain. Never gave up, made a change. Blood ball overcame. Vow to never be the same. Always praise his name. Never switch up for the fame. Preacher on the chain. Yes. 
it's heaven to bust. So in God I trust, winning I can't lose. Walking in these shoes, it is so, it is so. Always on the go, claiming blessings in a row. Going harder than before. One thing for certain, two thing for sure, I'm gonna serve the Lord. Money tighter than never, that's a three, four chord. Light shine like a lighthouse. Bold and proud, not a church mouse. Faith on fire and I can't doubt. Holy Spirit, I'ma bring them out. Been through the heartache and pain. Soaking wet from the rain. Never gave up, made a change. Blood bought, overcame. Vowed to never be the same. Always praise his name. Never switch up for the fame. Preacher on the chain, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Woo! I'm ready for the next one. Mm. Woo! Yeah, put that on the other like that. Yes! I'm down for whatever, down for whatever, down for whatever. Woo! I'm down for whatever, down for whatever, down for whatever. I'm on a mission, send me a go, you know I've been with it. Fully focus on the prize. The target, I hit it, uh-huh. I'm walking in the valley of the shadow of death. I'm fearless. Here's the realest. I see the vision. I'm about the business. Whatever God, all I'm with it. Joint air tightly fitted. Have you felt his spirit since I've forgiven and I've been acquitted? I love this life that I'm living. All in for the cause, I admit it. Never change, never switch it. Reaching souls, my ambition. God got my back. Peace and joy, I'm chilling. Heavenly place where I'm sitting. Treasure laid up, gotta get it. I got the mind of Christ. Anything else is senseless. No, my opposition won't knock me out my position. I stand tall, push hard. Real talk, I'm driven. Street code, street life. Been there, done, did it. New mind, new way. Same name, had to flip it. I never go back in a minute. Speak his name today, I'm on a mission. See me, I go, you know I've been with it. Uh huh. Fully focused on the prize, the target, I hit it. I'm walking in the valley of the shadow of death, I'm fearless. He is the realest, I see the vision, I'm at the business. Cause I'm down for whatever, I gotta be clever. I'm down for whatever, I'm on a new level. I'm down for whatever, I'm just a vessel. I'm down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. New time for the kingdom. History in the making. My season is here. Cause I've been patiently waiting. I press for the high calling. And it can't be complacent. No matter what I'm facing. Real talk, no faking. Soldier in God's army. And it's part of my purpose. Been in the fight for a minute. And and it's been worth it. I'll go all out. That's my reasonable service. Stand on his word. Test through scriptures and verses. Tribulations will come. But it's only a test. Have faith in God and trust in the process. Seek the kingdom first. Everything else will be added to me. Mission minded is key. Real talking. I'm on a mission. Send me, I go. You know I've been with it. Fully focus on the prize, the target I hit it. I'm walking in the valley of the shadow of death, I'm fearless. He is the realest, I see the vision, I'm at the business. Cause I'm down for whatever, I gotta be clever. Woo. I'm down for whatever, I'm on a new level. Woo. I'm down for whatever, I'm just a vessel. I'm down for whatever, I'm down for whatever. Woo. I'm down for whatever. 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 Down for whatever. Down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. Down for whatever. Down for whatever. Hey, preacher man. You know what it is. It's your boy DJ Styles. Stay tuned. Stay locked in. We finna pay these bills. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Let's go. I'm Monet Phillips from the Monet Phillips Show, and I got some exciting news that y'all gonna love. It's gonna knock you off your feet. Well, guess what? SVP has expanded to global, y'all. We are on Woku, Fire TV, Apple TV, Podcast, bro, you name it. We on it. And just in case you don't have Comcast 31, you'll be able to download the app, SVP TV app. And also, you look. 
you know, we get a little fancy with the remote control. You can talk on the remote control with voice command and just say SVP TV. Now, guess what? We are on every Friday night. Well, I am, and also Tawana Murphy also. We are on every Friday night. And you also can see me at 8 p.m. on Friday night on those channels. So let me tell you again, we have expanded SVP TV on Woku, Fire TV, Apple TV, Podcast. How about that? So look, I hope y'all tune into our shows every Friday night, the Monet Phillips Show, 8 p.m. And I will see y'all then. We're going You had everything, it's everything that you're ready to ride. Hop up in my Jeep and put your pride to the side. Go against the gang, you must be ready to hide. Swinging on the corner, bang my tail till it pops. I thought I was a goner, place to your honor. Burn marijuana, the diamond is on her. Hotter than the sauna, I made her ass a lot of. Baller baby Prada, she popped it for the dollar. We are back on the Monet Phillips show. Did y'all enjoy that performance? Man, brought the heat like I told y'all, preacher man. That's why they call him a preacher man. <laughs> That's why I told you, man, you got to bring that energy. You can just imagine, you know what I'm saying, getting hyped like that on the stage and oh, giving that energy. Because whatever you bring is how you going to get that feedback from your audience yes. and, and everybody that's around it. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, especially if you have a DJ or if you have a band. Most you know what I'm saying? Yes. If you have a band, you already know they're going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? I've actually done two events with the band. Like uh -huh. one of them was Dream Fest. Yes. Dream yes. Fest this year. Yeah, I remember you at Dream Fest. I was there. I was it, there. It is so much another experience. Yes, yes. And it yes. was beautiful. Man, it man, was man, beautiful man. out there, you know. So, uh, man, we get opportunities like that, man. Y'all jump on the opportunities. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Those are great look for you, and you know, just show it. It makes it seem like you're at the award show. That event shell that had your picture up there, light it yes, up. Yes, most definitely. Uh, it was like a whole new, you know, ball game. Man, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if y'all get opportunity, y'all see this this a chance to be on something, y'all you know, get your in. Get Most yourself way. in in the door somewhere. Somebody see what you know. See if they need anybody to be in the vehicle. I you. mean, I'm just saying because you know you never know. And I and I told y'all, you know, just because y'all come on the show, I have you know, I, call me the plug. <laughs> call me the plug. I pretty much can, you know, see you and direct you to people who are looking for people. You know what I'm saying? So your performance is everything. Whether you be on time is everything. Because I can't see people that are not on time. Because they're going to be like, okay, well, they, they ain't even on time. Have you seen you? You heard from So you know you got to be able to work. So if they turn around and say, um, Monet, you got somebody you got in mind that can be on the movie. Or something like that, and I'll be like, Yeah, of I'm course, ready. you know, soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I heard his music is powerful. So, you know, that's why I be telling y'all, make sure y'all have professional pictures and stuff like that. Because when they do these movies, guess what they need? Oh, a yeah. picture. Oh, I'm, <laughs> oh. gonna, I'm gonna tell you something about the pictures when you was talking about it. I actually when I did a photo shoot, I took about five outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he took at least 15 pictures yep. of each outfit. And yep. I told him, I said, watch how I work them. And it was a, a year of me working all those All pictures. the pictures, yeah. Yeah, so you, yep. you got to do the yeah. professional. Yeah, because it, it, it shows. It makes it look great. It, yes. it wasn't even hard for me to find pictures to promote. 
Miss Powell. Oh, it, yeah. it was not. It was not hard at all. Shout I out mean, to Cloud of Visions. I'm, yeah, that, I mean, definitely. yes, most definitely. And I mean, it was it was it was unique because it showed him like working in the studio, which I love those looks. I don't oh, know man. what it is. It it brings you know that you artists. You know what yes, I'm saying? So when you in the studio, getting those shots in the studio in the yeah, behind. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's dope. I, I, I love that fire. That's I, look. That's I'm perfect look. That's perfect look for y'all. So when y'all have those shots, I love grabbing those. Uh, you working with the engineer producer. I love those looks. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know to put out there. You know let them know they, they work. I know. You know what I'm saying? Know. So that's that's different. that's that's a great look for y'all. So you know just look at different pictures. You know what I'm saying? And you know take take key to what I'm telling y'all. It really works. Yes, it helps y'all yes. in the long run. So yes, I always tell people all the time when y'all doing business, y'all got to be on top of your game. Y'all can't be playing around and you know do one track and. You know, it ain't nobody listen to it. I ain't never heard no more. Most definitely, most definitely. You got to come definitely on. You going to keep working. Don't stop. Don't, you know, you might take a step back for a little bit, but don't go too far. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, you know, definitely. and and come on back and do something else that, you know, enlighten you. Because I like I tell you, everything in your life is a testimony to Amen. tell. Amen. We all Amen. go, we got a testimony. I can write, I can write a book. Yeah, everybody tell me. I, I, got, I got one roll. I'm just ready, ready to put it on, on wax for See, real. see, okay. that's what I'm saying? Because we we going through something daily every day. Yes. We dealing with people every day. That okay. we know we dealing with stuff with them and yes. our family, you know, and all that kind yes. of stuff. Yes. So you know, uh, we experience so much stuff daily, and you be looking like I never thought I'd be going through this stuff. But it be an inspiration or testimony to tell yes. somebody else who's yes. going yes. through yes. it, and you can help them out. You know what I'm saying? Just by listening, not telling them what to do, but being a listener ear. I am one of those people that I don't tell you. You asking me for advice? I'm like, nah, I'm not going to give you advice. Yes. What I'm going to do is tell you what I had experienced, something similar. Okay. And maybe it can help you. And if I tell you what I went through, then you can say, oh, she went through it. Oh, okay. So yes. how you yes. get out yes. of it? So yes. I tell you how I got out of it, then you oh, can yes. take heed from that. But, you know, we always seem to tell everybody, each person, your friend, whether your mama, your friend, your cousin, your daddy, sister, whoever, you tell them your business and you try to get that input from them and see what they say. Everybody going to have different vision of oh, yeah, what you should do. Most but what's most in your heart, deep down inside, yeah, you going to have to listen to that. Yes. That's what you got to listen to. I tell okay. people, I tell them, listen to your heart. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna tell you if you think you're a fool. Everybody been a fool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once or so twice somebody, in their life, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But we all gotta learn from those experiences. If you don't do them, if you don't do, do anything, think, how would you gonna learn? How you gonna ever learn? You gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? So don't ever get beat up when you go through crises and situations in your life, thinking, "Oh man, I done messed up, and God ain't gonna forgive me." God is a forgiving God. Almost definitely. Yeah, I'm Almost telling you, we all have made mistakes, and and I'm telling. We still, still here. Still yeah. still <laughs> we still making them. And we, as we get older, we learn more and more. more and to the, yes. to the end of our day, you know, Amen. we never know when the last day. Amen. But we always know that keep him first, you know, yes. and pray about it. Um, I mean, we always make decisions. We make decisions for anything, for, you know, for the well-being of our children, our family, us, jobs, yes, yes, yes. all that. So, you know, just don't ever beat yourself up thinking like, oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. And don't get so frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a learning experience. Every time we go through, I know a lot of people are dealing with deaths a lot. Mm. Every time we look yeah, on the timeline, we see somebody has I'm passed away. And I know that um, it's difficult, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you have someone close to you and they're gone tomorrow. But I'm going to always tell you one thing. God didn't promise us we was going to be here. Oh, come on now. Right? He didn't promise we were going to be here. So he always tell us to do right, do what we need to yes. do, learn the Bible, read the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And learn, pray, pray, pray because day. what we are right now, we're in a spiritual warfare. With our mindset, I'm telling you, mentally, that's yes. what's going on. Because so you know, when you have devastations like that, it mess with you mentally, right? Most definitely. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't think, you mm. can't nothing. That's why people, people saying, man, the government gave us that stimulus money and nobody want to work. Baby, that money been gone. Come on now. Figure out why the reason why folks ain't working. Mentally. 
Yeah. They ain't, they mental yeah. state. They are not eating the right mindset to go to work. Why would you want them to go to work and they already mental? I'm, I'm telling you, cause it's- I'm for real. I've been, sitting up, I've been hearing a lot of people saying they gave us this money and people don't want to work. We got all these jobs open. You wonder why these people around right here, some of these people haven't even came back from their health after having COVID. Oh uh, yeah, cause it's, it's, it's whole- Hello, this is a whole different, you know, and disease is going on, and people have not physically got their energy, their health back fully like they was. And then they scared it, to go around. With yes. It. They think it's somebody. Yes. Else. So yeah. It's, so it's, I'm just so it's a different situation. Up. And I tell everybody. I mean, I I hear my team, You know, I be I just listen. I be like, when I get through telling them how I feel, then they be like, you right, you right. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just telling you because I'm seeing it. I'm not telling you because I'm just talking. I'm telling you because I'm seeing people mentally going through. I done seen people right in front of my face, and I know I've been knowing them for years and talk to them daily, and then they don't sound right. Mm. They ain't talking right. Mm. They angry all the time. You be like, I'm like, something wrong. Yeah, something yeah, wrong. Because that ain't, that ain't how yeah. they roll. They normally be mellow and keep going and laugh. But then when they energy change, you know something yeah. ain't right. Mm. It's nothing wrong with, you know, t admitting that you, you know, have a depression. But everybody be saying, you know, I ain't depressed. But it's, it's really hard not telling people that you know how you really feel. Oh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because we all hide behind our depression. Oh, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? So that's the hardest. <laughs> Telling people, you know, say how you really feel, you know, what I'm saying so. A lot of people don't want to discuss that because you don't want to say, man, I'm, she's crazy, well, he's crazy. I'm like, really, all of us crazy. <laughs> I'm in, in some part of our life right now. You got to keep it. Simple. Yeah, all of us got. We got that in us. We crazy, by real. We better be crazy. And then, <laughs> Cause way things are going right now, we don't know what's gonna happen in this world, man. If we can't even go to a gas station, they shooting that gas at like it's the wild, wild west. You know what I'm saying? You like what the world is going on? We, I mean, I'm just saying, and they open this, you know, gates where we get to um, carry these guns, and baby, everybody got a gun. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, they just, yeah, just going crazy, man, going man, crazy man. every chance they get. How I wish, like yeah, said. it's it's a whole new generation. So that's why I tell y'all, mentally, it's a mental, uh, spiritual warfare. Mm. In our mindsets, only the strong can survive. I'm telling y'all, you got to be stronger than what the devil is planning on us. You know what I'm saying? You got to be got strong. To, got to have so God on you, I'm you telling you, to fight that battle, you really have to pray. Amen. And if you don't know how to pray, God, he'll lead you. Just tell him, just talk like you talking to Poo Poo and Ray Ray. You know what I'm telling you, man. It's, it's not formal. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Go you know, people be thinking, I got to say something like that. You know what you want to tell the devil to do. You know you oh, want to tell him to get underneath your foot. By, amen. You don't even want him behind. You want him underneath. Come you on, know what I'm saying? Because if he's behind you, that means he can grab yeah, you yes, and pull you back. Your feet. So I always tell him, put him underneath your feet. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Step on it because you ain't going to take nothing no. that God has for me. I always pray that. You know amen. what I'm saying? Amen. And if it goes and you, if you if you end up losing, Anything, those materialistic things. God Most always bless you, triple fold. Yes, they always yes. just keep, yes. you know, keep doing what you're doing, encouraging people. I know I got this platform for a reason, you know what I'm saying? To help someone to talk. That's why I'm able to say what I can say on the platform to oh, help y'all yeah, yeah. because, you know, uh, I see it daily. I'm out here, I'm out there uh, every day. Ne people don't never know what you're going through, you know Most what I'm saying? But you, you see and you listen to people and they, and they talk and you be saying, Man, you just don't even know I went through all of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't look like it. But yeah. like I told y'all, your testimony is the key. Amen. You're yeah. able to tell somebody else, they can look at you and say, Ain't no way you went through this. You, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible said. The Bible said you overcome by the blood of the Lamb. That's and right. The word. Yes. 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 So Amen. that's why I was able. God always tell me when you come out, this is going to be a testimony that you'll be able to say. Amen. And they'll believe you. Now, if they didn't believe you, but they're going to they believe you when you tell it because it's going to be so realistic. Yes. yes you ain't going to be able to say, man, look, ain't nobody else did it but God. I'm telling you. And when nobody in the room, he's the, he's, the, he's the lawyer in the courtroom. When oh, ain't nobody there, you Stand alone, you by yourself, you think you by yourself, you ain't by yourself. I done told I done told many people. They be like, Where your lawyer? I said, He here, you don't see him. And they just be like, who? They told me I was crazy then. They said, Well, who where you at? I said, right here. I said, right here. I said, God, man, do you see it? I got stacks and stacks. We we got stacks.
taxes, stacks of information Amen. to get us past it. But I'm telling you, when you have that faith, that's that crazy faith. Yes, yes. That's why I told y'all let's get some craziness. Y'all just hear it. Now y'all pay attention to what I just Come told on, you. It's that crazy faith. Mm. You know, that faith that you know God is not going to leave you dry. Amen. He's never leaving us dry. I don't care what we have done in our life. We have made bad decisions, but he's never going to leave. He's going to give you a little bit of into everything so you can grow and get those baby steps back to where you need to be. Yes, but yes. I always know when decisions that you make may not be the right decision, God going to make you realize why you made the decision and what you need to do next time when things come around. So I always know that. I'm giving y'all these inputs because things been going on with a lot of people in their life and they try to beat they self up for decisions, decisions they make and, you know, protocols and stuff. They just don't know what to do. And people constantly saying, you know, oh, man, these folks won't go get no jobs. And I'm telling them folks, man, them folks ain't mentally mindset ain't right. And you won't want them to be like that at work. Oh, come on now. You, would you want them? Your life is in danger, depending on what kind of job it is. Would you want Poo Poo buying gone and he got to run the line uh, yeah, at, the, yeah. at the at the at the, at the White House? <laughs> you know, you don't want Poo Poo be on that line, running that line, and he mentally gone and you didn't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So just be, you know, just pray for a lot of people. Yes. That if you see them Most one definitely. minute and they're gone and they're just pray for them because you don't know what the reason why they live. Most definitely. Because they got to be going through something. You maybe be Most something definitely. at home or something else. And people just don't just up and quit jobs. We all need money. We ain't had no government money, Come you know, on, in a minute. So, I mean, how could you just say that, you know, about this? Mm. The money gone, you know? <laughs> kind of been gone. gone. <laughs> So either you're going to go out here, you're going to work, or you're going to try to do your best and get your own business. Now, yes. I haven't seen a lot of y'all business been falling off. Y'all was booming like crazy uh, when we was going through the pandemic. What happened? What happened to y'all? Get them business yeah. back going. Man, God was just showing us an opportunity that if this world came to a point where we had to have our own, we can do it. Yeah. And y'all showed that y'all can do it. Y'all showed. Had a yeah, everybody yeah. had a business. Now y'all done changed up on it. Now y'all said that even without even going to these jobs, y'all even still ain't even doing the business. Come on, you gotta do one of them. We gotta do something. So. Uh, you know, don't give up on your dreams and whatever. Whatever you started, Amen. man, invest yes, in something yes. else. If it's, it's a clothing line, invest in it. Keep it going. That's income, extra income in your household till you get yourself together. Sure, uh, right. If you cut her, do her. Continue to do that. Um, man, keep it show. I didn't stop. The Monet Field Show was going through the whole pandemic. I had people tell me, girl, go somewhere and sit down like I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all out sitting at home watching me no, on Facebook and yeah, Instagram and YouTube and TV now. I, 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 this is what God told me. Keep going. That's and I did. Lesson. I did. I kept going and we still here right now. Yes, so yes. I just want y'all to give y'all enlightening inputs on different things that will help y'all through y'all life. I always do that because I know what's going on in this world. I ain't perfect, y'all, but I know I love that man above because he always steered me in the right direction. And, and I think that this platform is a perfect way of telling y'all what I've been going through in my life and how I strengthen myself daily. You would never know mm. what goes on with me because every time I actually give it to God and let him fight the battle for me, everything is gone. Yes. I ain't no fights no more, ain't no arguments no more, none of that stuff because why? Because that man above, when you gotta fight him, you in trouble. It's like my big brother, my daddy, my uncles, everybody. Yes. You fight him, you in trouble because <laughs> I'm God's child, you know what I'm saying? So they let you know when you get up and try to put your deuce up. Touch not, touch not. Baby, you're going you gonna to have a, you gonna have a real t problem with Come God up there because he got a plan for me. So I always think like that. Yes. If you think like that, think like that, say, you're going to have a problem with God, you deal with me. Most definitely. Most Tell somebody that. Most definitely. Yeah, because you, you, are, you are special. You God have made all of us for something in our life, for our being talented in different things that we got going on in our life and the things that we want to do. He want to be supportive and help you, push you into that area. So, man, they just keep the faith. Don't stop. Don't give up. Amen. I always keep going, man. This is one um, one um, weekend I know that I don't celebrate Halloween. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then it's on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I know a lot of people do that with the, with the kids or whatever. We, I, I take my baby and then drive them around. It ain't like how it used to be when we were younger, when we used to let the kids go yeah, trick-or-treat. Yeah. Now we drive, like, I, I stay in Barley area, so, you know, all the people over there, they love that. They, they ain't give out the candy. They love seeing the kids. I would drive my, t my children to the door <laughs> and, you know, each house and let them get their candy and come on back home. But, um, you know, I know everybody, you know, belief is different. I just feel like right now is one of those seasons that you got to give your life totally to God in intention mode it's because it's almost devil yeah, action going yes. on. I be like, I don't know about that because it's on a Sunday. On. on a Sunday. You know, yeah, you go pick Halloween, you go pick God. You know? now, the, way, the way we would do it at church, you know, we, we don't call it. Nah, we Halloween. didn't call it Halloween. We, we call it Halloween. Ha night. Yeah, Halloween, yeah, Halloween night. And, yep. and we ain't dressing. No, you know, it did not. It did that not. Was evil, they had to get, they had little yeah. bits for the kids come on, come and they on, had little candy and stuff come like that. that. And I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just being hypothetical. What is really going on in this Most world? Definitely. You already know all these actions are devilish actions. You know what I'm saying? The killing and all. All that. Away yeah, from where you, yeah. Where supposed to be so, with the Lord. so yeah. when you realize this is on Sunday, yes, yeah, and definitely. the day you praise God, yeah. you Just know, the day that it. you give God your everything, yes. you know, it's be like I'm gonna pick this one, I'm gonna pick God, Come like on, I'm man. gonna pick God, you know what I mean? Because yeah, he the one gotta guide me through, yeah. not the devil. He gonna pull me down, knock me down, and, and, and that's what's been going on now. mentally. So I'm just, I'm just telling y'all how I am, you know. My baby boy, he's with his dad, so I don't even have to go take him to get. No candy. <laughs> This, 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 year. this year, yeah. So we'll be at home, you know, saying just you know doing our thing. But uh, all my kids, them they're older, so you know I only have but one younger, and then he's ten, mm. so I don't have to worry about that this time to take him to get candy and stuff like that. But just be mindful of you yes. know watch out for the babies. I know the baby's gonna be out there Sunday. Um, this week, next week, the Monet Filler Show will not be at SVP Studio next Friday. I have have been asked to be the media at the Iconic Awards oh, at the Quadre nice. Building yeah. uh, next Friday. So we'll be going live on Facebook live next Friday. I will be at the pre-show uh, also at the High Rock. Uh, pretty much sure they still have tickets you can get. Um, um, and I have shared it on my Facebook page also. And then we'll be on a commercial break so y'all get a chance to see it. Um, but yeah, we'll be going live down there and you will see the interviews later on on the TV show on SVP Network on Smart TV, Woku, Fire TV, whatever you have at home. So uh, so that's where we'll be next Friday. So just in case y'all don't see me, you say, where's Monet? It's a different location just next Friday. Uh, just wanted to uh, get a chance to tell y'all that because, you know, when you have opportunities like that, you know, it's hard to come by, you know, and they looking at Monet as this uh, celebrity host <laughs> of the Monet Phillips show. So, you know, I am so honored and, you know, just to carry that weight and just bring SVP in a different limelight and just show y'all we out here working and uh, doing great things and the media's are picking me up. Clear Channel is picking me up, uh, so I'm in that in that bracket, y'all. I'm with the media group, so when these big events come, uh, concerts and stuff, they'll probably be contacting me to come and do interviews. So I'm gonna be delighted and ready. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, also, I've been nominated, y'all, for Model of the Year again. <laughs> again, for the I Sign Myself Award. So, I've been nominated again in November. Uh, Paul Tuck was here before he had passed. Uh, I had him on my show. Yes, and uh, so, they continue um, the uh, the legacy. Yes, we'll you do. know what I'm saying? So, um, most definitely, um, Mr. Banks, he's keeping it going. Yes, and uh, man, uh, I'm just delighted to be nominated again. And so uh, it's going to be something to look forward to, as always, down in Atlanta, y'all. So it'll yeah, be in Atlanta. I will be there. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I'm nominated yeah. artist of the year. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so yes. see, that's what I'm talking about. See, so yeah, put your work in, you know, and uh, man, keep pushing for what y'all know, what to do. Uh, man, y'all make sure y'all 
you know, like I say, stay prayed up, y'all, yes, and yes, stay yes. encouraged. Help other people. Don't yes, turn yes. your back on people. People need uh, encouragement right now. People need someone to talk to, lean on. I've been seeing a lot of depression on Facebook. I've been seeing a lot of uh, murders and a lot of people leaving this earth, um, yes. you know, going through a whole lot. And like I said, it's a spiritual warfare. Only the Amen. strongest can survive this, this pandemic we're going through right now. So, um, Y'all stay prayed up. So uh, make sure y'all download the app, SVP Network TV on uh, Smart TV, Fire TV, Apple TV, Woku. We got it. So y'all make sure y'all do that. And also uh, go subscribe on uh, YouTube. We yeah, on SVP yeah. Network uh, on YouTube. So you'll get a chance to uh, see your episodes, your show on that also. So subscribe to it. Get our views up. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, and you always can see the show on the Monet Filler Show on Facebook or Instagram. Instagram and um, make sure uh, I let y'all know when the website will be up so then that way y'all can get a chance to really see it uh, no, all the shows and everything that will be on their website just a click and so we got some more things coming up too uh, that the Monet Phillips show is going to be on and I'll tell y'all more about that when it pops back open so something great so I'm doing some business with other people and we getting stuff going so I'm telling y'all y'all want to stay tuned to it so yes, yes. I thank you for uh, uh, coming on the yeah, Monet yeah, Phillips yeah, show. It, 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 yes, it, yes. It, very, very entertaining uh, guy, uh, preacher man. He yeah, always doing something stuff. great. And uh, oh, you got some events coming up. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to run it down. It's going to be fake. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first I am in the uh, Memphis Recording. Well, I'm in the Recording Academy. Okay. Memphis chapter. Okay. So that means that uh, I am on the ballot, on the Grammy ballot. Okay. So that's a All right. All right. And just like I just said, I am uh, nominated Artist of the Year. Uh, I signed myself. Mm -hmm. I'm nominated in two categories in the Hood Idol. Okay. So, you know, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's been some work. Yeah, that's some definitely, work. Most definitely. That's so, work. Uh, check me out. Check me out. I'm everywhere. If you just type in Preacher Man anywhere in Google, just type in Preacher Man in any one of my songs, I'm going to be everywhere. That's right. Most that's definitely. right. So, um, and it, you know, like he just told That's right. And he, like he said. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm here and it's a blessing. Yes. And it's a blessing because I'm on the Monet show. Yes, I'm yes. Here. And you know, like I said, he, he is a producer too. So y'all, yes, I'm telling well, y'all, so I, don't forget that. You know, just in case y'all looking for a producer. Because I'm not going to rap forever. <laughs> I'm not going to rap forever. So I told yeah. you, everybody got to have some kind of talent. Yeah, some tell, kind of world. I'm looking you know? for you. <laughs> so look, y'all got another, uh, you know, another producer that came over yeah, here I'm also that you. can help y'all get your music together. So yes. I hope y'all enjoyed the show, man. This has been a fantastic show. So I love talking yes, about, yes, you know, God and letting y'all know how to get strengthen your week, strengthen your weekend, give y'all yes. this special energy that y'all need, this push. Cause we finna go into November, y'all. So you know it's yes, the yeah, I'm oh. telling you, we got two months left. Uh, so uh, November is on its way. So I will see y'all after uh, Veterans Day. Mm. It's Veterans Day. That's Friday, November the 12th. I will see y'all after that. So until then, y'all have a great Friday and happy Halloween to y'all. And uh, stay prayed up. The Monet Phillips Show. You got it, you got it, girl. You, you got it. You got it, you got it, girl. You, you got it.